really means a lot to us. I can see a few hungry faces out there, so uh, rest assured there's going to be uh, a lot of food coming out very, very shortly. Uh, Trinity Spine is a special place. As I look around the room tonight, uh, I can see many people who feel the same way. A couple of people, in fact, may, may know this better than anyone else. Uh, Jack Hale and Frank Chewy. Uh, where, where are you, Jack? Frank? They've been members of, of our party in this riding, formerly known as Bellwoods and Spadina and Trinity, um, for, for decades. Um, they're our longest serving members, and they're here tonight. Thank you both for coming. There are, there are also many new faces here tonight, which is a fantastic thing. Uh, you know, it's, it's a really exciting time, obviously, to, to, to be here with so many people here. Um, and, and, and it's kind of hard to put into words for those people who might be new either to our party or to the, to the riding. What makes Trinity Spadina so special? What it's all about? I started to write a few things down and the list quickly became very large. Our, our students, the AGO down the street, uh, people helping those in need, Kensington, Soul Pepper, and the list goes on. So I started to look for ways to capture this in just a few words. Uh, something which I regret may be uh, outside of my oratorical skills. Um, so naturally, I turned to Wikipedia. <laughs> Wikipedia, the online encyclopedia where you can find information on just about anything else in the world, describes Trinity Spadina as follows, and I quote, The riding is the most ethnically diverse in Canada, containing the heart of, down of Toronto's downtown Chinatown, Koreatown, Little Italy, and Little Portugal. The northern section of the riding is the Trinity Annex District, while the eastern edge contains much of the part of the University of Toronto, where thousands of students live. A full 48% of residents have mother tongue other than English or French, which is the largest uh, in the country. It is home to Bay Street, one of the largest financial districts in the world, and is the second largest riding in Canada by population. In 2009, incumbent NDP Member of Parliament Olivia Chow was defeated by Christine Innes, Member of Parliament for Trinity Spadina. <laughs> Christine Innes now spends her time between Toronto and Ottawa. <laughs> okay, okay. The last, the last part, I may have to balance a little bit, but with, with your help here tonight, we will in fact be reading that on Wikipedia very soon. <laughs> Uh, I'd like to thank uh, our event co-chairs. Firstly, Jan Innes, uh, Vice President of Communications at uh, Rogers. Sarifa <laughs> Khan, she's a President and Chief Executive Officer of Dominic Martin. And Michael Powell, Executive Secretary Treasurer of the Carpenters Union. I'd also like to acknowledge uh, a few people in the room. Um, John McCallum, has, has John arrived? Not yet. Okay, he hasn't arrived. He's going to be joining us. He's, his son is actually uh, flying overseas, so he's going to be our, one of our guest speakers tonight. So uh, hopefully you'll all look forward to that a little bit later on. Um, the Honorable Tony Ayano. Uh, and of course, uh, the guest of honor, Christine Ennis. Uh, a large thank you goes out to Mr. Lee and his staff at the, here at the Uwa restaurant who are our gracious host this evening, so a hand to them. Also, I'd like to thank uh, Ron Davis and Brandy, who, is, uh, who are going to uh, provide us with some fantastic music that we can all enjoy this evening. And, and perhaps most importantly, I'd like to thank, uh, there's John, the Honorable John McCallum, everyone. Most importantly, I'd like to thank all the volunteers who helped us prepare for this event tonight, uh, with whom and whom uh, have spent countless hours to get us ready for to, to fight and win the next federal election campaign, which we in fact will do. Um, so now I would like to turn it over to both uh, Ron and Brandy, who are going to lead us through O Canada. Have a great evening, everyone. Enjoy your meals. is a challenge, but I will be brief because I know John has a time commitment with his family afterwards, so we're very honored that you're here. Um, so I'm going to be very quick, and I, I, I really am happy to see all of you, so many good friends. I'd like to give a special thank you to the co-chairs, Jan, Sharifa, and, and Ukul. I want to express 
my sincerest gratitude to all of you for coming out and supporting our team with your checkbooks. Thank you. <laughs> is entirely possible, but only with all of you. I also want to thank those of you who contribute your time to our cause. We have one of the strongest, most passionate ground campaigns in the country, and it's because of all of you. So thank you to all of the volunteers and the team who did this tonight. One question, Mary, are you still standing? <laughs> gathered here tonight, I, I actually feel quite strong and, I, and I'm excited about our next campaign, whenever it comes. I, I'd like to take just a few minutes tonight and I want to explain why I believe there is some urgency for a change in direction and priorities and for a return of effective leadership here locally and across Canada. Notwithstanding the enormous uh, economic and global restructuring we obviously find ourselves in, I think we should remember, Canadians still have much to celebrate. We need to recognize, though, that it's, it's not enough to say that the recession is loosening its grip or that somehow uh, the recession is over. We also need to be able to say that we have a plan to come out of this recession hitting the ground running. That's where the Liberal Party makes a difference. The past year... has made it abundantly clear why good government matters. Thanks to the Liberal Party, Canada entered this financial crisis with a strong economy, healthy surpluses, a stable banking system, and a robust social safety net. 